dead for Easter. Hey, thank God, hey. Four day break, and I'm ready for it. I'm ready for a break. I've had a, it's been um, God, I've got a lot of better day. Um, I don't know what it is about coming home from work, and uh, all of a sudden you've got a red face. I'm out in the sun all day. Although it's not been that sunny today, the sun's just come out. It's been miserable as hell today. But anyway, it stops the people on the arbor to mess in the arbor to muck them to, and the forest and lens and back. Hey, Nottingham, hey. All these people letting the city down. You know, not only letting themselves down, they're letting the city down. Because what happens? The transmission rate goes back up again. And uh, do they chuck Nottingham back in some, um, you know, red zone again? I don't know. Stupidity. From, well, they say a minority, but if there was 10,000 on the Arboretum, that's not a minority, is it? So anyway, for want of uh, ranting, Hood, Best bit from Lincoln. Lincoln Green Brewing Company. Not had this before. Um, I've had it from on draft, but I've not reviewed it. Um, Four point seven percent. I will get my little magnifying glass out because I was getting over. Doesn't really say at that side anyway. Um, at this side. Brewed a little stronger than our cast version. Heroic and heroic. Premium Best Bitter, classically English in style, but with a gentle lift from Mount Hood Hops. Love the uh, Nottingham theming. Uh, it is a Nottingham company, well, but book, book goes Nottingham. Let's not split hairs. Nottingham Shire. And uh, the good people at Lincoln Green, they had their own issues last week when uh, there was a fire next to their unit. And I'm not sure of the damage it did to the unit. Hopefully no damage to the actual unit itself. But it was next to the unit. Um, you know, my heart goes out to them. Of all the things, you know, there's some shit in life you just don't need. And uh, if coronavirus hasn't, you know, been a shitstorm um, as it is, there's just one kick in the bollocks you don't need. I know they've got a big um, that mobile home jobby thing going off, big caravan thing next to the unit, so that wasn't, um, didn't catch fire either. Um, I've seen photos, but I've not really gone into any detail. It's been a busy week for me, so I'm struggling to catch up on stuff. Um, I need to wash some glasses out. I can smell one of the glasses, it's don't smell nice. Um, yeah, I always struggle with, it's a chestnut or mahogany, but it's a darkish paw, we'll call it that. Little white head. Oh, that's nice. You just get that traditional bitter. Oh, cheers. Oh, it's a true malt fest of a beer. Oh. Just the sort of beer you could drink in a pub. Oh. In a few days' time, week or two's time, uh, outside a pub again. You know, it'd be strange in years to come when people look back on some of my reviews. But coronavirus, uh, it'd be a generation in five years' time. But what the hell is coronavirus? Hopefully. Hopefully. We don't want any more of it. God, it's been a bad enough year as it is. There's only so much crap you can watch on TV, to be honest. And it, and it is crap. So just it's the spot. Lovely um traditional beer. Um oh just fills the mouth with lovely taste. Just imagine. Now you see, for me, uh, the Robin Hood and Little John and Arnold is, is my local Lincoln Green pub. There is one in town. There's one in Hutnall, and I think there's two more. Um, but the one in um, uh, Arnold, the Robin Hood and Little John, that's how the pub we visit quite used to visit quite a bit. Um, obviously, you know, as soon as it properly opens, we're going up. I want one of them Stilton topped pork pies. Really, that 
sounds bloody amazing. Unless I was dreaming. If I'm dreaming, I do apologise. You know, ye <laughs> drinking that many beers, bound to forget something. And yes, it's in the wrong glass today. One does apologise. Um, I don't turn the ice back on to clean all my glasses. I don't put them in the dishwasher because it, it just chews glasses. So yeah, Easter's here. Thank God. Enjoy a bit of Easter. Enjoy. Hopefully, hopefully it will get a little bit warmer than it was today. I mean, I'm not bothered about it getting 20 odd degrees. Just brings the idiots out and idiots having parties. I mean, I used to work on the Arboretum for 20, nearly on 22 years. Um, with a bit of a break in between, a couple of years, you know, in and, in and out there, uh, going to other parts of the city council. But it's nothing new. And uh, for people in Nottingham who watch this video, it's nothing new. That sort of shit went on all the time. Litter everywhere, people pissing everywhere, uh, messing about, fighting, you know. And as gardeners, we have to deal with it. And it's stuff, you know, on a daily basis, it's like, oh God, I can't stand this. Thankfully, I don't have to put up with that sort of stuff now. But I'm also wearing orange uniforms. I mean, what's that about? All it does is attract the bees and wasps to you. You just like look like you've been tangoed. And the funny thing was, I watched one bloke on the forest, this is on the forest recreation ground, there's women there picking the litter, probably volunteers. And then you've got this bloke, and he's obviously council. He's got a big backpack blower on, blowing the rubbish, and he's not even doing it properly. And you look and you think, get that bloody backpack blower on the floor, get a bloody litter picking ground, pick it properly. Oh my. But yeah, disgusting society. Um, this is where on the spot finds all to be. As soon as someone leaves the rubbish, take a photograph of it, say, you, that's your rubbish. You just left that. Bish bash bosh, 80 quid fine. Right, cheers, enjoy your night. And then start doing that. It's the only way to deal with people like this. And the funny thing is, Nottingham's inner city parks are all, you're not allowed to drink on there. It came in about 2009. And uh, they told us at one stage, we've got to go and tell people that you can't drink. I'm a gardener, not a bloody police officer. And uh, we used to tell people to pee off onto the cemetery. I hope the cemetery out of the way, because you know, you, you're only going to get told to you pour your drink away. And if they're in the cemetery, they're not going to really know one. It's an old cemetery, you know, there's no one getting buried in there these days. Um, general cemetery, that is. Some body parts found in there at one stage when Nottingham's Dennis Nielsen chopped somebody up and left body parts in there. Yeah, well, apart from, apart from a bit of belly, a bit of belly pork, yeah. <laughs> there's a story. <laughs> yes, there's a story. Anyway, before I rabble on too long. I don't suppose I can get all the flavours from this. Uh, obviously, I can taste the malt. It's all about the malt. It's, it's a lovely tasting beer. I'm not getting any specific flavours. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. There's some beers you can drink, and you know, I can get this, I can get that, I can get that. But what I can say is, it's an absolute cracker of a best bitter. It certainly it's the spot. 4.7%, it's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I don't drink anymore because I don't know red cards off of mine, if you know how it is. I'm sure we've all got women out there that are partners, you know, and um, male or female partners, depending on, you know, the, your sexuality and their sexuality. But, um, yeah, <laughs> none of us want a bollock in, do we? On a slight tangent, my neighbours two doors down are having a new roof put on. Now normally when when people when I see builders put roofs on, 
and they rip the roof off in a day. They put the uh, like sheeting down. They put the the butt bar, you know, the like the bits where you tap on tap the tiles onto. That's all done in a day, and then they tile it two or three days at the most. There's been five of them for nearly two weeks, pissing about on top of a roof two doors down. I hope they're not paying a day rate then, blokes, because fucking hell. Absolute piss take. I'm no roofer. I bet I could make a fucking bastard job of that. Eh? I've never seen such chilled out builders. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well, I'll just put one tile down. On the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll put another tile down about five minutes there. <laughs> Absolutely makes me chuckle. Every time, every day I come home, I'm like, oh, have you done it yet? If I was the people living there, I'd be fuming. I would. And uh, when, when, when they've been and gone, I'll say, how much did you pay for that roof? I hope you didn't pay day rate because they're just taking the mick. And I reckon they're paying day rate and that's why they're dragging it out. But five blokes, you know, you're looking at at least 100 quid a day, at least for each of them, minimum of 100 quid a day. So that's 500 quid. That must be one expensive roof. Bloody hell. Okay, it's not me paying for it. <clears throat> so, totally enjoyed this. It's been nice to have a chat as well, you know. Sometimes, you know, in life, it's just nice to sit back, have a chat, listen to some bloke who knows nothing about beer. <laughs> Rabbit on about Nottingham issues. This is Nottingham beer. I'm from Nottingham. And, you know, and I'm disgusted with some of the actions of people. You know, show respect to the city you're in. Yeah, yeah, you might be a student. And, uh, yeah, the, I heard one idiot on Radio Nottingham says, well, we're young. We won't get the virus, so we're safe. Leave us alone. We won't get it. And I thought, hmm, that's interesting. So you get the virus, you take it home, you kill your granddad and your mum. Oh, you don't get the virus. Yeah. And there are some people out there who are truly so bloody ignorant. Hey, this virus has shut the world down. Every country in the world, the modern world, a lot of countries have been have escaped it totally, probably because it's a younger. They don't have older people there, or the people live too far apart. But where it has affected the country, look at America, half a million dead. And stupid comments like that just wind you up, don't they? There's businesses across the UK that have lost their livelihoods. You know, people who had they probably were pretty rich before coronavirus. You know, now struggling. Even my boss, I work in hospitality, and uh, he had to close his business down, businesses down, get rid of all of his staff, bar a few, then employ a fantastic gardener. And, uh, and uh, the gardens are looking great. Raggy the Gardener on Instagram. Check it out. You'll see some nice videos. But I don't know, that's enough of me showboating. Um, yeah. Yeah. People. People can be ignorant, and it's a strange world we live in. And it's a disappointing world as well. Gotta say. But anyway, lovely bear. Totally enjoyed this. Got some things off my chest. And you know, it's not only just about the beer. It's not only just about drinking. It's about going to a pub, having a chat to some random fella or lady. Somebody you don't know having a chat, they join your table, everyone's chatting away, you know, discussing the finer points of the world. That's what it's all about. That's what a lot of people are missing. You know, mental health. Oh dear. So for me, the hood, my first ever review of it, even though I have drank actually in the pub, Robin Hood and Little John. Uh, for me, yeah, nice, best bitter. Tasted great for that. Can't fault it though. Not a top 10 beer, but you know, best bitters aren't going to get into most people's top 10s. But a decent beer nonetheless. 4.3 out of 5. Thank you. Oh. And that's it for this beer review. Thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and liking. And, uh, you know, hopefully this year we're going to get out of this awful predicament we've been in and enjoy life. And remember, be a little bit more humble in the future, you know. 
but also in the future to be a bit more aware of any situations. Mm. Cheers all.